I finished reading Piranesi, which started out so strange as to make the reader feel unsettled, wondering whether to continue, but then disarmed and haunted me with its unforgettable twists and turns. Rather like today in Belleville, I think. Despite its lovely name, Belleville was looking and feeling a little sketchy. Perhaps because of the dreary morning skies and the fact that once again, without meaning to, I found myself unwittingly walking down a street adorned with ladies of the night. Although it was mid-morning, so I suppose you can call them ladies who are up for a good time, any time. I'd heard of a pretty park in Belleville, but the entrance I happened upon felt somewhat dubious. More than once in a shady path, I wondered if someone would jump out at me. My heart began to sink as I felt nothing inspired and I was about to leave when I decided to push on and found the loveliness I was searching for. A pretty leaf and flower covered arch and blooms lining a shady path, a green bench where I could read my book in quiet solitude. Paris does not ever disappoint. book's surprisingly emotional effect on me, I decided to give Belleville a deeper dive and wondered the neighborhood some more. I'm glad I did. The day brightened up considerably, perhaps owing to the sun making an appearance, but perhaps also to my curiosity being revived.
for dessert, I found Belleville's section of La Petite Saint Tour, the abandoned railway that had encircled Paris once upon a time. The 20th arrondissement section is small, about two blocks length, book ended by gated off spooky tunnels. According to the signage, the section of Menilmontant station between Rue de la Mer and Rue de Menilmontant was closed to passenger service in 1934. Today, like the other sections, its tracks are overgrown and topped with laid back wooden seats, a leafy green oasis hiding below busy city streets. Another one of Paris's secrets known to me now. I know I won't be able to explore all of La Petite Centaur before I go home, but I shall at least try. The day became truly sunny and warm in the afternoon. No more teasing. I went to the nearby Canal St. Martin and simply watched the locks and bridges do their choreography while small vessels passed by. After the canal, I decide to satiate my craving for a steak, seared on both sides with a red wine reduction.
good.